everyone. Welcome back to part 30 of my stereoscopic 3D Let's Play of Alien Isolation. My name is Ayn Crow and I am the poor fool who made the f absolutely insane decision to do his first playthrough of this game on beyond hard difficulty. This is Nightmare Difficulty, which was added, patched into the game after the game was released to provide an additional challenge for those who decided that hard was not good enough for them. Well, I decided that Hard wasn't good enough for me, and, well, hard probably would have been good enough for me, because this is actually extremely difficult on Nightmare, when you have no idea what to do, where to go, and your options as far as using items to help you out are extremely, extremely limited. So what we're going to do in this part is start it out with reading the terminal, so that means a convergence change is going to be necessary. Let's access the terminal and see what it has to say. Probably some stuff about working Joes, I'd guess. Heist. Are you still there? Why the hell didn't we have the smarts to stay on the Anisadora? They shut me in a lab over in the Sistec Spire. For the love of God, come and find me. Elevators are out and there are bodies everywhere. I'm sure I can hear it in the walls. Okay, so I don't know who sent this, but someone in a lab in the Sistec Spire needs some assistance. I'm leaving this for you when you wake up. I know that you're still all over the place after that thing came out of Foster, but you've got to stop. Yeah, Foster's the woman who had the. You got way too drunk uh, and told those people sleeping in the mall way too much. I dragged you away when I saw the look in their eyes. We can't go back there again. No one can know we're connected to Marlow and the Anisadora. Now come back once you've dried out. Yeah, so, just a reminder, Foster was the woman who got impregnated by the alien egg thingy, my bobber, my jig. She had the face hugger on her face, and then, of course, the chest burster burst out of her, and we saw the remains of that unfortunate incident back in mission, like, six, I think it was. So, yeah. This is all your fault, Foster. All right, we got a door to open here. Got an empty goddamn container with nothing in it, like so many containers that I've encountered on this difficulty. Just want to make sure that I am not leaving any items, just on t any workbenches, on any racks, or anything like that. Because in the previous part, I discovered an item that I should have seen, yet did not. All right, let's continue. Joe, right in front of me. He's headed that way. I shall head this. Empty. Can I get up here? Shit, nope. Ripley can't do a simple little hop, skip, or a jump. It's one of those games where the hero, or the heroine in this case, can't do basic acrobatics. It's an unfortunate trend in video gaming. Okay, he's coming back. He does go to the lower level. That's important information to take note of. And though I can't get up right here, I can go down. Strange, so he did sort of see me a little bit. I'm gonna hope he doesn't come all the way over here. He's coming. Thank you. 
Wait, whoa, whoa. Wait, why you... I opened the door. And he's right there. Gotta hide. Okay. This could require my attention. All right. Just going to wait for a few seconds. I guess I could use my motion tracker to try and find out when he is right there, but he was just standing there, I think. So the motion tracker wouldn't have picked him up. Motion track shows all clear. I was detecting him over there. Yep, he's walking the other direction. So it should be good. Okay, there he is. So I don't need to go back over that way. That was just me exploring, which got me caught and stuck and trapped. Okay, there's a way over there. See another door right there, but it... Where is he? Fuck. God damn it, I tried to go through that other door and then he came back. Well, we'll just run again. And next time, I will be more patient. Gone. How inconsiderate. <laughs> man. They put some jokes into the Joes, man. Alright, so he thinks I'm gone, if that is an, an accurate representation of the AI's routine. Should be picking him up any moment now. Yep, where are you? There he is. He's walking towards the left, so... He's probably going to turn around very soon. Just in case he comes to the door, I want to be right here so I can hide. Oh. Thousands of safety checks. Where do you go? Oh, there he is. Shit. This is closed. Okay, I can hide here. He will come right pa past me, but hopefully this will work. <laughs> With Seekson, there's someone helping you. Behind you. Every step of the way. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, container I missed. Looks like the only way to go is through the door right over there. He's standing right there. Let's 
see what kind of move he makes next. Yep, that's what I was hoping he would do. Head over in that direction. Not even gonna bother going over there. Probably nothing over there. Even if there is a container, it's gonna be empty, so... Let's just go. Check around the corners. You always check around the corners, though, man. Because you never know. I think I'm detecting the Joe up top, rather than any Joes in this area. It sucks that you can't really tell elevation with the motion tracker, but it does make sense. So this guy had his head bashed in. Which is indicative of a Joe in the vicinity, but I don't detect anything. Motion tracker is clear for the moment. Go around back here, see if there's anything. Fortunately, there is not. Oh, down there. Can I get through here? No. Come on, ba basic climbing, Ripley. I know what would really suck is if the Joe now starts to come down the stairs. Typically, Joes don't behave like that. That's the alien that will follow your ass. But I don't know, man. The game could change things up, and I need to be prepared for it. Fuck, nothing. I guess I just gotta hope to find stuff lying on the ground because these containers are god dang useless. Anything hidden over here? I can pass through here. There's another door. Still not detecting anything. And I apologize for the video going 2D every single time I bring up the motion tracker, which is a lot right now. But it's got to be done. The motion tracker is very good against Joes. It appears to be a, an alien summoning device when you're dancing with the alien, though, so I don't use it in those situations. Oh, thank you for the musical cue, game. Because... I otherwise would not have noticed that sleeping Joe lying in wait. So he's blocking the way right now. His eyes are white. So maybe he wouldn't hurt me? But the music is frickin' telling me otherwise, so yeah, never mind that. Screw that. So it looks like there are at least two doors that can be opened here. I don't know which one I should open. I'm gonna just go with this one. Hope it's hope it's gonna be okay. Okay, terminal. Alright, so the other door leads to a different room. That's fine. Let's read. I think it's a safe area. Detecting the Joe above me. Right, he is above me. Sevastolink. What are your plans? Hey, Mart. I guess you've heard about the station decommission by now. What are your plans? I've got some connections that can hook me up with a work with work when we leave. I can't promise anything, but maybe they can find you something too. They've started chasing down the stores in the Galleria, or closing down the stores in the Galleria. Your place was still boarded up from last year. Sorry you had to lose it. You never seem to catch a break. Do you still hear from Margaret and the kids? Maybe you should go see them when you leave Zavastopol. Let me know if you want me to ask around for you. Gillen. So, so some people trying to figure things out for after Sevastopol <laughs> closes up. Security risk. Blythe. We need to find a way to shut down those automated janitors. Their security problem. 
Every time they start their cleaning circuit, there's a risk they'll open up a route for that thing that's hunting us. Or at the very least, let looters in. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. The alien is going to be an issue here very soon. To all Sevastopol inhabitants, the station's decommission process is now underway. Please read carefully and take note. An initial team is on station to survey... Okay, let me restart. An initial team is on station to survey Sevastopol and initialize the decommissioning process. Please help them in any way you can. We have enough food and medical supplies. The redirection of the supply ship flight path will not impact on your quality of life. Rationing will, however, be deemed necessary if stocks run low. Hoarding and illegal trading will not be tolerated. Please report suspicious activity to Sigson Security, who will investigate in cooperation with the Colonial Marshals. A population rehoming service is has been established. We are happy to help you with your next step, but we are not liable for costs incurred. If you require financial support, we recommend Sigson Credit Services. The decommission is final. You must relocate or you will be faced with forced removal. Hmm. People are scared. I have been camped out in Galeria Mall for maybe... What's the Russian lady? The people here, they're scared. But they still believe that martial ways will kill the creature. They forget other dangers. They forget themselves. People are turning on each other for food, for water. I cannot stay here. I think I know where I am right now. I, I'm in the central... I'm on the other side of the shutter in the central area next to the Colonial Marshal's building. Oh, and there's a vent. So I guess I'm gonna have to take that, but first, of course... <sighs> nothing around. So I'll check the other door. What am I detecting? Nothing around. Not even any pots or pans. Just... I think the art team forgot to add a couple doodads to the scene. Make sure it's clear. Detecting something right over here, right around here, but it's above me, I believe. Yep. Another storage closet. And I'm on the other side of another shutter room. Hmm. Only thing in here is a vent. Oh. Here we go. Nothing on the shelf. So let's see where this goes. Wouldn't be surprised if it led back to the kitchen area. And this all just connects to the... Marshall uh, area. So let's see if there's anything that I can build. Oh. I guess after one of the times I died, I never rebuilt the EMP mine. I'm able to collect that scrap. Nice. Alright, so let's go through the vents. This, I think, is just... Just the kitchen.
Okay. I don't know why that's even really here, but okay. Didn't take me anywhere of any use, and it didn't seem necessary to have a vent there. Wait. It's telling me to go that way. Is it through here? It's gotta be. Pointing dead ahead. I swear, man, if this Joe gets up and kills me... He's got white eyes, though. Oh, what? Oh. Okay. I didn't even see this. Safe point in the area. Ah, oh, the screwed up lights again. But yeah, I'm in the Marshall building. Damn, but get me one of those. I could survive the alien attacks. Roots, we should talk about what happened in San Cristobal. Now, it was a nasty business, and I understand that you want to deal with it as quietly and quickly as possible. But I wanted to make sure you didn't do anything rash. I'm talking about catching the specimen without killing it. If we play it smart, we could be set up for life. I've already heard this. I have the connections. I can set it up. You're getting old, Wits. You can't do this forever. And what are you going to do when Sevastopol closes? You have my number. Ransom out. This is a different station than the one we've been in, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's the same design, but why would they have the same recording? Alright, so here we've got... What I absolutely guarantee you is just a 2D mat. I, I watched Chris of Stereo 3 Productions. He did the uh, Mission 5 area where you could see outside a view to KG-348. But you could also see parts of the station, and when I was in there, I commented that I thought it was a 2D mat. He said he thought it was a 3D model, and just just looking at it, I'm convinced that this is just a 2D mat. I mean, just just the way it looks like it's painted. I mean, yes, it's it's flat. Of course, it's it's flat. It's just it looks like a painting. Is my issue. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. But I think it's a painting. Let's take a look at the terminal. Oh. Nope, nothing there. Whoops. Convergence issues. Okay, yeah, this is the same terminal. This, how could this be the same building? I mean... Okay, well, as we heard, the Joes caused Marshall Waits an issue. This can't be opened. Damn. Okay. So I think the next section is going to be a bit interesting, so I'll just call it quits for this part here before I really get involved in anything. So, yeah, just don't look at the lights. Don't look at the lights. Let's get the lights out of the shot. Crap. So, thank you for watching part 30, and we'll return in part 31 and find out what happened here and find out if this is indeed the same uh, Marshall Station on the, uh, the Habitation Ring, which is where I met, met Waits. That's where 
Taylor was. She was on a gurney in here. I don't think this is the same one, but the terminal is the same. This note here is the same. This t tipped over chair that I commented on when I came through the first time is still here. I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see if Marlo's still locked up. That'd be kind of interesting if he was. So, yeah. Interesting things absolutely for certain are going to happen in 31. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you then.